This new thing they're doing. I call them, oh, Jesus, I tell you. I call them the bald faces. The what? The bald faces. That's a, it's a new generation of spreader. They're even worse than a regular spreader because they're walking around uh, bald-faced lying. They're lying that they don't have the coronavirus, and they're also walking around with no mask on their face. And if I see you with no mask, well, that's when I've got to pull out a bat. That's when I've got to pull out a truncheon. That's when I've got to pull out a crowbar, and i got to kneecap you. And that's what I've been primarily focusing on my uh, law enforcement efforts on lately. There's a lot to unpack there, but i got to say, I would much rather have a healthy person walking around without a mask than have you going around assaulting people, spreading what's probably COVID-19, and calling yourself a member of the police force when you're very clearly a deranged individual. Well, I will, like I said, I, I do not want to be referred to as deranged. I do not want to be referred to as a vigilante. I am the police. I just I'm, I'm not really allowed to say it. You know, it's kind of like Batman. You know, Batman, he keeps the streets of Gotham City much safer than Commissioner Gordon, but he doesn't wear a badge because Batman doesn't have to follow any rules. Uh, 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 Batman isn't real. You do realize that, right? Batman may not be real, but the big ass of Berserker is. And that's kind of the reason that I was calling. Uh, I was actually calling because you you just went over a story down in Miami, Florida. And I actually heard about this myself. And I can tell you, the South Florida slasher, he's considering retirement. Because all these goddamn Miami Police Department cops are taking his feet. You know, he's down there. He's a member of the Gang of Good Guys. And he's supposed to be out there dealing with the spreaders and dealing with the bald faces. And now they got cops doing his job. And I got to tell you, it's the same thing here in New York. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back by Mayor de Blasio. He's got these NYPD dicks out there handling my business. And I'm not going to stand for it. I don't even, I, I hate to ask, but what are you planning to do about the police doing their jobs exactly? Well, I've got two options here. And, and maybe I, I think you might be able to give me some insight on which one is the better option. <laughs> is one of them going home and maybe taking up knitting or some other hobby? I'm never going to rest. And I don't care if I got this flu or what. <clears throat> I'm not going to rest. I'm either going to do this. I'm going to join forces with the enemy. The Black Lives Matter. The Antifa. They want to defund the police. Well, you know what? So does the Big Apple Berserker. Christ. Why don't I go join their side? No, don't think that's a good idea. No, I wouldn't do that one. No. Mm -mm. All right. Well, I guess I'll do my other options. Uh, what? What is that exactly? Well, I've been thinking about moving down to Florida because. <laughs> oh no! Because See, we're we're full. <clears throat> there's it's all right because there's a, there's gonna be some room down there for me because nope. the South Florida slasher is telling me that he's gonna retire. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna be Florida superhero, and, and you know why? <clears throat> Uh, I, I can't think of any good reason why you should move to Florida. You really shouldn't do that. It's a bad idea. Because in Florida, in Florida, I'm allowed to have a gun. Oh, God. Uh, and I'm sick and tired of tasering people and beating them with bats. I want to start shooting these spreaders. Feeling down in the dumps about the state of the world today? Are you sick and tired of the same old boring news shows? Are you ready for something new? then it's time to go to war. The War on Morons, that is. <laughs> this hilarious comedy show puts the world of stupidity on blast every Monday night with a half-hour podcast covering all the latest from stupid criminals, Florida man shenanigans, Hollywood hypocrites, politically correct crackpots, and more. And there's an extra dose of insanity every episode as the phone lines are always open 
the ever-growing parade of lunatics that call into the show. I mean, get a load of these nut jobs. I'm rolling in it. I'm rolling in it. All you got to do is tell these, you know, these fruitcakes that you're serving them vegetarian stuff, and they all buy it. I went over there. I mean, I had to stay at least six feet away, which was hard to do because there was like 25 of them or something. And I told them, listen, y'all better stop what you're doing because I've got a gun. How can you be afraid to drink wine? You know what? You're an alcoholic. You're supposed to love it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Big Apple Pesaka, and, and I'm keeping New York clean up. Oh my God, man, that's the Walt Disney Corporation. You know, they're speaking through one of their clones and they're telling you, they're telling you that they're, you know, interdimensional uh, Satan worshiping vampires. I mean, a lot of them give to charities and like help people yeah, out. They don't. To charity, my ass. Two words for you. You ready? OJ Simpson. I read, read my case. Introducing from Bellsmere Enterprises. It's mommy and me, rhinoplasty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So tune in every Monday night at 7 o'clock Eastern, right here on YouTube, or catch the show up to three days early by following the RSS feed at thewaronmorons.podbean.com.